What do you see as the biggest challenge facing the United States economy relative to other countries, and what are the implications of that with regard to investing globally over the next decade? Charlie, <clears throat> thank you for staring that easy problem to me. <laughs> I think the answer to that is that by and large we haven't made our way in life by having great global allocations systems. Berkshire's attitude generally is to find things that seem sensible to us and to concentrate to some extent in those matters and then let the world economy and the world's currency fluctuations fluctuate as they will. I do think we'd prefer some countries to others, and the more responsible the countries seem, the more comfortable we are. Wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. But, but beyond that, we can't help you very much because we really don't even – we don't have a global allocation system of Berkshire, and as Warren is keeping it secret from me. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> <clears throat> We, we did not buy Burlington Northern with the idea of moving it to China or India or Brazil, and, and, and we love that. We love the fact that Burlington Northern is in the United States. I mean, it, this kind of, the biggest threat we have is some kind of a massive nuclear, chemical, or biological attack of one sort or another. And, you know, if you say, what are the probabilities of that over a 50-year period? It's pretty high. If, over a one-year period, it's very low. Uh, but if you talk about whether the qualities that have led to the last 220 years of incredible progress, with a lot of hiccups, but incredible progress, you know, in the in the in the status uh, of mankind uh, that we've experienced in these two centuries, compared to any two centuries you want to pick out in, in history. Uh, this country is, is remarkable, and its system is remarkable, and it does unleash human potential like has never been seen before. This crowd here is not smarter than a similar crowd 200 years ago, and they don't work harder. But boy, do they live differently. And they live differently because this system has enabled fairly ordinary people over a period of time to do extraordinary things. And that game isn't over. I mean, there is nothing that says we have come close, in my view, to the limits of what humans uh, can achieve. Uh, we really probably don't even know our own potential any more than the people in 1790 knew their own potential. I mean, they thought it would be great if the, somebody finally came along with some farm tool that let them work 10 hours a day instead of 12 hours a day. Uh, so I, there's no reason I, I, you know, I hope the rest of the world does well, and I think they will do well, and I, it is not a zero-sum game. If China and India do well, that does not mean we do worse. It may mean we do better. So we are not, not what they get is taking it away from us. But I would be perfectly content if Berkshire Hathaway were forced in some way to limit its investment to the opportunities available in the United States. We would have plenty of opportunities. I'd rather have the whole world, obviously, as, as, in terms of opportunities, but there, are, there will be ample in this country where I would not run from the United States.